Hi Pisces, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, who is the person on your mind right now? Who is the person on your mind right now? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be looking at who they are, what they're thinking, what they're feeling, and what actions will they take towards you. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it does resonate with you, please give me a thumbs up to my video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate that. Okay, let's get started. Spirit, please show me who is the person on Pisces' mind right now. Tell me about the person on their mind right now, please. Thank you. Okay, first card we have for you is the King of Pentacles Reverse. Some of you might be dealing with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. We have the Ten of Wands in Reverse. Could be Fire, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. We have the Knight of Swords Upright, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. And we have Six of Cups Reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have all the signs here. All right, let's take a look. Hmm. So this person is thinking about you here. Um, there might be a separation here that happened between you two. However, this person feels like things are, are not over yet between you two. Um, there's a lack of commitment here um, coming from their part. King of Pentacles in reverse. They're not ready to offer you commitment, but they don't want to let you go. They don't want to end the relationship. Um, they might be stalking you, watching you, following you. Um, Six of Cups is in reverse, so they do miss you. They do have feelings for you, and they're curious about you also. They're curious, like, they're curious to know if you want to return back to them or not. They're not taking any action towards you because they want to figure out how you feel first and, you know, what you're thinking first. It's almost like they want to know if you're happy, if you're happier without them. All right, let's clarify the, these cards, see if we can get a little bit more information. Spirit, tell me more about this King of Pentacles in reverse, please. We have the Four of Swords in reverse. So yeah, they're restless. They're definitely overthinking here. Their mind is going round and round in circles, okay? What else? We have the Seven of Cups upright. Wow. So they're kind of confused about their own feelings. They're not really sure how they feel or what it is that they want. They have more they might have more than one option here. Seven of Cups is having multiple options in love. They're feeling very stressed and really and very conflicted here. Um, they're not really sure, you know, which one of all of these options is the right option. Um, you might be dealing with a you might be dealing with a perfectionist or with a control freak. All right, clarify Ten of Wands, thank you. We have Justice Upright. And the Queen of Cups in Reverse. You might be dealing with a Libra here. 
Um, although I said that already previously. They're holding back their emotions here with the Queen of Cups in reverse. Um, I think they they don't want to get your hopes up with the Justice card. They're trying to be fair, although I don't feel like they're being fair, but I think they're trying to be fair. They're also trying to find balance in their emotions because they're very overwhelmed and they're very conflicted their emotions are all over the place and they're trying to achieve some sort of balance so for some of you this person wants to return back to you but they're also thinking about um, somebody else apart from you clarify the knight of swords thank you spirit we have the hermit yeah they're lost the Hermit is all about feeling lost, feeling out of place, um, feeling disoriented. They're looking for that star. They're looking for that wish fulfillment, but they don't know where to find it. They don't know what it is or what it looks like. Clarify the six, uh, yeah, the six of cups reverse. Thank you. We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And the Ace of Cups in reverse. They feel like they missed uh, missed out on an opportunity with you. On an opportunity for love and happiness with you. Eight of Pentacles is about giving up, about not working for something, not putting effort into something. So I don't know if this is how they feel or this is how they feel about you. They think about wanting to be back together with you, but at the same time, they're not ready to invest or to commit. All right, let's see what are this person's feelings for you. Let's take a little bit of a deeper look. Spirit, show me what are this person's feelings for Pisces. Okay, first card we have here is Queen of Cups in Reverse, the Eight of Cups Upright, the Strength card Upright, and the King of Cups Upright. Okay, so somebody did walk away here with the Eight of Cups. Again, I don't know if it's you or them. It might have been them here. Or it could be you, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, somebody walked away here, but it's like somebody was holding back their feelings and the other person was willing to to be open and expressive with their feelings. Um, we do have the strength card here, which is a card of struggles and complications and challenges. It also feels like a little bit of a self-sabotaging energy also. Hmm, I'm not sure what's going on. Let's clarify these cards again. Clarify these four cards. Thank you, Spirit. Three of Wands in reverse. 
King of Cups upright. What is going on? There's so many. There's a lot of love here. Somebody walked away despite having love for the person. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody let go of the other person, but they loved the other person. Ace of Wands. Yeah, uh, Eight of Swords in reverse. Three of Cups. Yeah, there could be a third party situation here. And the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody was dealing with more than one person. I think that's what the issue is here. And someone felt like they had to let the other person go because there was another person in the picture with the Three of Cups. There wasn't an equal 50-50 relationship because there was a third party. It could be that someone had an ex and someone was still attached to their ex and the other person ended up being a rebound. Yeah. So I'm just saying someone, because I don't know who's who, so just take it as it resonates. But, um... Someone wants a new beginning here with the Ace of Wands. But I feel like there's a lot of redeeming that has to be done here. I think someone has to redeem themselves and recover the other person's trust. They've been very wishy-washy, very, um, you know, elusive here with the hermit. They've been confusing you, I feel, and confusing me also. <laughs> so it's like someone has to you know, redeem themselves if they want to have this Ace of Cups, this new beginning in love. They have to show that they want it. They have to show that they're they're going to work for it. All right, that's what I see, Pisces. So let me know if any of this resonated because um, it was definitely confusing. But if it did, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, Pisces. Take care.